I've been writing software for over 20 years, and I've spent lots of time with my hands on a keyboard. I also work from home all the time, and so I'm always curious about ways that I can improve my office setup. Lately, I've been interested in trying the split keyboard setup, and after seeing guys like the Prime Engine talk about these Kinesis keyboards, I decided to give it a shot. So I guess we'll see if I can adjust. So for about three years, this has been my keyboard setup, my daily driver. This is the Logitech MX Keys. This is the Logitech Master 3 for Mac. I like these because they have three different settings. You can switch between different computers, just have them hooked in Bluetooth. I don't really like having to charge them, um, but at least this one you can charge through the front, not like the uh, Apple mouse, uh, which you have to charge through the bottom for some reason. I like the thumb scroll wheel here. I like all of this. The mouse is great. The keyboard works really well. I hardly ever use this section of the keyboard anymore now that I don't do very much 3D work. You know, I spend a lot of time in this type of, of a position. The keys feel good. I like them, uh, but I wanted to try something different, and so I switched to this. So this is my next keyboard setup. I really enjoy the split. I really enjoy having the mouse in the middle as opposed to having to move my hand over here. I don't uh, feel like I waste quite as much time shifting between these two. Uh, this feels really nice. This has some... Uh, little lifters here that you can uh, add on to it. They work pretty well. I got the shorter cable version of this, and this does hook into the computer via USB, so I really like that. There's no charging. Uh, it's just base, It's just a basic keyboard. You know, you've got your media keys, you've got some um, function keys, you know, you've got a couple of like your undo, cut, copy, paste. This is sort of like a modern keyboard. I like that it doesn't uh, have the 10 key over here that I didn't really use, but that I can go into a mode where I can still use the 10 key. Uh, but really, I like this whole process moving around. Uh, works pretty well. This is the Kinesis Freestyle 2 for Mac. Um, obviously, it has the command uh, button here. Uh, so, But I wanted to try something a little bit different, and so then I switched to this. So this is wild. This is like flying a spaceship or something. Having all of these buttons at your thumb is very difficult to get used to. Uh, I did set it up for my Mac. I added these additional keys. It does come with some other keycaps that you can put on, and it's very easy to program, shift things around. It actually has a drive built into it and software built into the actual keyboard so that all of the macros and everything that you set up actually are stored within the keyboard itself. You can program it through an app on the computer, but it actually saves into the keyboard. So if you take it with you, if you go between home and office or someone else's house or just travel with it, it saves all of your uh, presets and everything. And this is really interesting. It's it's set in, I'm not sure if you can see that in the camera, so that your, your fingers are sort of cradled here like this. This really exposed me for how poor my typing technique was. Uh, I keep trying to hit the B key here and the Y key here. Um, as you know, I obviously cross the streams quite a bit, but you know, I'm getting used to it. Uh, the previous split keyboard was way easier for me to transition. My, uh, words per minute was about the same. This one, it dropped from, you know, 60, 65, 70 down to like 17 or something like that. It, uh, this really just destroyed my typing, but I'm getting used to it. I'm, I've been doing it for a few days and, uh, you know, the whole backspace here and the space here and enter, it's a little bit to get used to. I'm not really sure that it's worth it. Uh, my hands don't hurt that bad. I don't type that much anymore. Um, but I am getting older and I kind of want to take care of my hands. So this is an option I wanted to try and just see if this was better than the previous step or not. So far, the previous step I like a little bit better with the offset keys. Uh, it seems to work a little bit better for my muscle memory. These keys, as you notice, are straight up and down. There's no offset so that your fingers have uh, less to travel. But I wind up hitting other keys by accident as I do. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to give it a few weeks and see if I can transition to it. If I can't, I probably will just return it, go back to my previous one. They do have one in between the, uh, the previous, the Freestyle 2, and then this one, which is the 360, I think is what this one is called, it, which is still, pro it's programmable, but it has the uh, the offset keys. It's more like the previous one that I showed, but it has the programmability and everything of this one. This one also has uh, some uh, basic tinting here with the buttons. You can go to a few different levels. So if you wanted it, you know, a little more extreme, you could do that. Um, it also, I think you can order magnetic um, foam pads to go on here, maybe, you know, like soft, uh, wrist pads or whatever. 
Anyway, I really enjoy this setup, so I'm probably going to stick with the split keyboard either way. I'm not sure that I'm going to stick with this. It depends if I can get to uh, get used to this or not. This is quite a bit more expensive than the previous one. This is like in the four to $500 range US dollars. Uh, the previous one is like more of the one to 150 for the programmable uh, version. I don't know if it's really worth it to me. Uh, it might be, we'll see after a couple of weeks. So I guess we'll see if I can adjust. If you guys have any suggestions or comments or other keyboards I should try out, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you and check it out. Thanks for watching.